In this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods on your Questcraft. A lot of you guys asked in the comments, and I saw some in the Questcraft Discord. So let's get started. So the first method and easiest way to install Questcraft mods is in Questcraft itself. So the first thing you want to do is obviously launch Questcraft. Then you want to go to your mod manager right here. Click search for mods. Click anything you want here. Make sure this search the mods you want, like Lab Dynamic Lights for example. Click search, and then you can install the mods you want. Make sure it's on the same version that you want to play it on. Click the download button. Once there's a check, and there's no error message that pops up, that means the mod has been installed. For example, like this, this might pop up. This means it doesn't support it, and you have to use a different version or just not use it at all. That's how you install mods on your Questcraft in Questcraft. The second method for modding your Questcraft is using your computer or your phone that has a USB-C port by going to ModRith or CurseForge and also using SideQuest. I think that this is the most reliable way to install mods because sometimes the mod manager can mess stuff up. I personally recommend ModRith because you don't have to wait 5 seconds to install a mod. So you want to go to ModRith, search the mod you want. I am interested in getting Wind Hills. To click the download button, make sure it's fabric. Once that's downloaded, open SideQuest. You want to also open a file explorer window. I'll get them this to my second monitor for now. We're gonna go to this folder icon up here. We're gonna go to Android data. Scroll down until you see com.qcxr to qcxr. This is the Questcraft directory. Click on files, dot minecraft mods in the version you want. You want to bring your file explorer window back over. Make sure you have your mod that you want to install on your quest selected just by clicking on it into this blank area. Once it says all tasks completed, that means that your mod is now installed. And please make sure that if your mod has any dependencies like Clockfig API, Creative Core, other stuff like that, please make sure to download that because either it won't work or it will crash your game. So once you've done that, you successfully modded your game. And now, I'll show you that it actually worked. I'm gonna build this dirt wall, and I will switch to my torch, and as you can see, it does light up the area. That's all for today, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my other Questcraft videos. And for now, if you like this video, you might like the one on the screen right now. See ya!